Today we are taking a look at the One UI 6 beta number 2. Of course, that beta is running on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra right here. We are using my Galaxy Z Fold as our example of the way things used to be. And in this video, we're going to go over a handful of the new biggest changes in this beta. And a really obvious place to start is going to be inside this notification shade because there are a couple of fairly notable changes. So first off, you can see here two notifications from Wise on either one. And you can see there is a difference now in how they appear. Before, they were sort of joined together. They were separate cards, but they were sort of lumped together now they are fully separate this is more of a visual change kind of interesting to see if we go ahead and select device control and we make sure that we're on google home there is a very big difference here because samsung is now going to google's official google home panel as you can see here this was sort of the old way that samsung was doing it this is the new way it does look a little bit strange i'm hoping that the aesthetics of this will in fact change a little bit going forward because it's weird that it's got these very sharp uh, squared edges here that just looks a little bit odd to me but i'm assuming this is something that's going to get polished we're not going to have dead space on either side perhaps but at any rate they are moving towards google's sort of official version of this there are also some subtle changes to the samsung health app and yes they are there there are also some very subtle changes to the samsung health app primarily we have some bolder fonts. If you look at where it says steps and steps, it's just a bit bolder and potentially easier to read now. They've also added a few other little touches like the ability to have customized cup sizes in your water tracking, things like that. Nothing too major though. So we've already talked about some of the changes to the camera interface. You'll notice several of them up here at the top. There is also a new setting that will allow you to customize that swipe up, swipe down option that before would switch between the selfie shooter and the primary camera. You can turn that off if that's something that you maybe trigger on accident and that's something that you don't want to be using. They've also added this new application, which I don't believe was on the devices before. I don't think this was something you could download. It's called Studio. And this is a project-based video editing application. We'll jump into this old video. Close any other apps. Okay, so I guess that needs to go away. Let's try that again. And this kind of looks a bit like CapCut, but maybe like a little bit more simplified. You can add text, stickers, emojis, as well as different sounds. And then of course, whenever you're done, it actually will save it as a project there that can be jumped back into. Now this next one is a feature that we've actually already seen on some other devices, but it is listed as a new feature in this beta too. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways. You can now long press on an object and use another finger to move around and then place that object. So another good use for this would be something like this. Let's grab a photo from Google Photos. Now we're gonna swipe up to go home, go into our text messaging app, and then drop that image in. Again, we've seen this on some other devices with One UI 5.1.1, but apparently it's new to this as well. Of course, there were some other small changes in this beta update, but I'm not gonna go over all of them. These are just sort of the most impactful ones. If there's something you think was worth mentioning that I did not mention, drop it in a comment down below. And if you're already on this beta, go ahead and check for that update because it should be live. If you're not on this beta, I'm gonna drop a link down below showing the beginning of this process, how you get into it, and what those initial features were, things added to beta number one. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy. Man.